Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, my name is Dr. George Java and today I would like to talk a little bit about anemia. The definition of anemia is the less hemoglobin in our blood. Hemoglobin is part of the protein that is present in our red blood cells and that helps carry oxygen from our lungs to our body. So when there is less hemoglobin, it indicates a disease called anemia. People of all age, sex, ethnicity, etc. can have anemia, but certain factors predispose to anemia more. For example, first of all, gender. Women are more predisposed to anemia than men because of menstrual cycle. The vegetarians and the vegans are more predisposed to anemia because uh, animal products contain more iron and uh, B12. Anemia can range from very mild to very severe. Mild anemia can be so insignificant that there can be no symptoms at all. For example, a person can, can accidentally discover anemia on, I don't know, on a blood test. Or it can be so much severe that it can cause severe problems like loss of consciousness, stroke, myocardial infarction. Yes, severe anemia can cause all of these problems. Now, what are the symptoms of anemia? The most common ones, uh, obviously. The most common symptoms are of anemia are being chronically tired, being chronically weak, uh, having no energy, having a pale or yellowish skin, if it wasn't your natural skin color, obviously. Uh, also having feeling suddenly lightheaded or dizzy, developing a cold intolerance, headaches, and even sometimes chest pain. All of these symptoms can be part of the anemia. There are many different types of anemia, as I mentioned before, but the most common ones are iron deficiency anemia, folic acid deficiency anemia, and B12 deficiency anemia. And even the combination of these three can occur together. So how do we prevent anemia? How do we minimize chances of developing anemia? Well, first of all, we eat products that contain high concentrations of iron, folic acid, and B12. In case of iron, beef and other meat products contain high concentrations of iron. Obviously, if you are vegetarian or vegan, there are other options because beans contain a lot of iron. Dark green leafy vegetables contain a lot of iron. Also, dried fruits have a lot of iron in In case of folic acid, uh, dark, again, dark green leafy vegetables contain a lot of folic acid. Fruit and fruit juices, natural fruit juices contain a lot of folic acid. Beans, peanuts contain a lot of folic acid. So all of these foods are good for you. In case of B12, the highest amount is contained obviously in meat products and dairy products. But there are specific diets for vegetarians and vegans. Basically, soy products, cereals are highly enriched, highly fortified, artificially fortified by B12. And consuming these products will replace all of the B12 you need. If you have any additional questions, please write them in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. This is the end of our video. If you like what I said, please like and subscribe. If you did not like what I said, I thank you for listening this long. Goodbye.